Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to this quick short video, kind of a screencast and would like to discuss a small topic here. Now recently, let me give you first the context of this video. So recently I was, just today only, I was approached by a student saying that there is an Instagram sort of meme page which is claiming that instead of using use effect hook, you should be using use layout effect hook which is much more efficient than the use effect hook. So let me burst out this myth and let me explain it a little bit more that when you should actually use this use layout effect hook and is it really worth using it or not. And I'm not going to play like anything that uh, I'm just saying it, believe it. No, we're going to read the documentation together and we'll try to get some answer from here. Before that, you should know one thing, why you're using React in your project. The simple answer is React gives you the ability or moreover a superpower of rendering the entire component and if any data updates any particular component, we can just update that particular component, not the entire page. So this is the superpower of why we use React or why we prefer to use the React. Now, in case you don't know, use effect hook actually allows you to fetch some data before that component is laid out and just update that particular component. This is the basic overview idea of that. Now, coming back onto the part, should we be using this use layout effect hook or not? Let's click on it and read the definition of it. Now, this effect is almost similar to use effect. In fact, they say that the signature is identical to use effect hook. Okay, so what makes it different than the use effect and use layout effect? The only thing that is there here is that it, uh, you can read up here that updates scheduled inside the use layout effect will flushed synchronously and most importantly, before the browser has a chance to paint. So before even the browser had started to render anything on the web page, it will just fetch the data and will then update. Now at first go, it looks like, hey, this is even better. If I want to get some data from the database or maybe local storage, I would use that so that user don't have to wait for the component to load. Now at first go, it looks great, but this is not really the ideal case. In a large scale project or in the production grade project, they also say that that prefer the standard use effect when possible to avoid blocking visual update. So the whole idea with the React is that your user should not just hang around with the loader that, hey, nothing is happening on the screen, but rather let's allow him to paint all the components which are not affected by some of the data that we are fetching. If you use this use layout effect before the browser gets the chance to paint rest of the updates or rather in the in the word of paint, we can use a render here. So before the update, the render, uh, all of the other components like navigation bars are loading, it will first try to fetch the data or whatever you have written the code inside this use layout effect. So in the longer run, I personally don't recommend to use this use layout effect. Uh, but surely this is also another way of fetching the information and probably you can use it. There might be, of course, a use case scenario where you might want to use this. So again, my recommendation is just don't believe anything that you see on the meme pages, but try to dig up with the documentation with some reasonable explanation. And maybe this is a use case scenario for you. Maybe this is not the use case scenario for you. But again, this is all what is recommended all in the official documentation page. So really quick short video, but I hope you have enjoyed this. Let's catch up in the next video and subscribe if you enjoyed it.